Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this build. I absolutely loved building it. I took my time. This took a couple of days to make, even though I could probably have finished this in a day, but I wanted to take my time because this, these two benches are going to um, some really good friends of ours. And I wanted to make sure it was right. And I wanted to make sure it, they were sturdy and that they were leveled because I have a problem with leveling things for some reason. I did use my new um, Craftsman wood planer, tabletop wood planer to on these on this bench or on all the wood on this bench. And I have to say that that planer t was absolutely amazing. And I really enjoyed using it. And I liked the way um, the wood turned out. I did round off the edges after cutting off the rounded edges just so this table would or excuse me this bench would be more comfortable for them to sit on i stained it a um, gun stock stain from verathane and i also sealed it with a polyurethane from verathane as well um, as you can tell the style of the bench is not what we well what i came up with to match their farmhouse table reason being is the table the benches are so tall they're so tall where my feet dangle off of them and i'm five foot one so i couldn't do the x braces on the ends to match the table so we had to go back and kind of decide exactly how we were going to continue with this build um, i I've said you know i can come up with another design that still gives it the, st the stability and the braces underneath to make sure that this thing is not gonna collapse under anybody's weight. Um, as of right now, this this bench can probably hold about 350 to 400 pounds. So if, I think it'll hold a couple of children and a couple of adults. So I think this will work out well. I showed them the new design they were like go for it i think it'll I think it'll be great and voila here it is i think it looks great i did use two by fours two by threes and one by threes on this build and um, a lot of wood glue and a lot of wood screws to make sure that this this bench is not going anywhere right now it's wobbly because the way it's sitting on my staining deck that i have right here um, but yeah, I think it turned out really, really well. It's 23 and a half inches tall, 48 inches wide or long, and about 10 and a half inches wide. So as long as you don't rock in it, it's not gonna fall over. But I think they're happy. They said they're happy and they're on their way to come pick it up. So I'm happy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, if you like the content, uh, please hit the like button and share the video if you know anybody who would like it. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, thank you for being here and welcome back. And on a side note, I hope the sound quality to this video is, is to your liking. I'm trying out a new microphone and right now I'm sitting in my shop with the air conditioning running. So the air conditioning is pretty loud because it's a window unit. So if you can hear me clearly, that's wonderful. And hopefully this will also work outside when it's a beautiful day to actually be outside to work. Right now we have a 75% chance of rain, so I'm stuck in the shop today. So I hope you liked everything. Tell me what you think about the sound quality. Tell me what you think about the, the farmhouse bench. And um, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks.